All right, guys, today we're going to do a little balancing flow. So let's start at the front of our mat. Bring your hands to heart center and ground down through the four corners of your feet. Let's bring the big toes together so they're touching the heels slightly apart. Now hug your core up and in for support. Roll the shoulder blades down your spine and lift your chin. <clears throat> and begin to sink the hips back into a chair pose or utkatasana. So your weight is going backwards here. And then once you kind of find your limit, begin to sweep the arms up on the inhale. From here, bring the hands to heart center. We're going to hook the left elbow outside the right. Now press down with this right hand and open up with this right shoulder. Try not to let your left knee slide forward. It's really easy to start to twist that body. We just want to twist the spine here. Now look down at your toes. Keep the hands where they are, but begin to float that left leg. Without letting the left leg touch, we're going to come all the way up to a dancing Shiva. So that means your right hand can go to your, right, your left knee or right hand to left foot. We're just going to open up here. And then eagle pose. Wrap your left leg around the right. Take goal post arms. And then left arm wraps around the right. Eagle. How about three crunches here? So I'm not going to move my shoulders up and down. I'm going to move from my waist here and I'm going to tap elbow to knee. Inhale, lift it up. Tap it again. Inhale, lift it up. How about one more time? And this time we're going to take it to a sky archer. So unwind it all, stretch it out. Then a little pyramid pose. Turn your left toes in and just fold over that right leg. Couple breaths here. Bringing it into a standing split. Now, if you can't touch the ground, put your hands on blocks. Then I challenge you, take your right hand to that right ankle. Maybe that left hand to that right ankle, and then pull yourself in. Left foot meets right. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale to that samasthiti he, that equal standing pose. Three breaths here. Sometimes when we balance it, we hold our breath. So I really want you to focus on those big inhales and those big exhales. One more big inhale. Now on your exhale, start to sit the hips low. Starting that chair pose. I'm keeping our hands at heart center because I want you to keep your chest open. Sometimes immediately, if I say chair pose, people do that and they fold forward. I want you to go straight down. And then once you've got your kind of vertical limit, then sweep the arms up. Relax the shoulders without dropping the arms. One more big inhale. Hook the right elbow outside the left. Remember, we're not twisting to make this happen. Begin to look down at the left toes. Float the right leg, the one that doesn't have your arm on it. And just balance. Always OK to fall. In fact, I probably will before this video is over. Dancing Shiva. Go ahead and bring it up. Left hand. Maybe it goes to that right knee or maybe you extend, make sure you're standing up tall and then look backwards. Eagle pose, left leg is going to wrap around, goal post arms, and then right arm goes underneath. So whichever leg is on top, that's the arm that goes underneath. We've got those three crunches. Remember, hinging from the hips. That's one. Sink a little deeper into the leg. That's two. Told you. That's three. We're going to unwind. Sky archer. Stretch it out. It should feel good. And then pivot the hips towards the short end of your mat. Turn your back toes in. Pyramid pose. Let's 
standing splits. Left hand to that left ankle and just playing. Now this side might be different. For some of us, we have a good balancing side and a bad balancing side. And that's okay. Right foot meets left. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So here's where it gets fun. We're going to move a little bit faster. Please pause if you need to. Inhale, drop the seat. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, lift that left leg. Come all the way up. We're going to twist it into dancing Shiva. Eagle pose. Remember, left arm will be underneath. Three. Two. And one. Unwind. Stretch it out. Exhale it down. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Exhale, samastitihi. Let's take two breaths here. Next inhale, sweep the arms up, drop the hips. Exhale, right elbow hooks outside left, knee. Inhale, that right leg lifts behind you. Bring it all the way up. Dancing Shiva. Eagle, get ready for those crunches. Try not to interlace the fingers. We want nice flat hands because when we interlace, we tend to squeeze, and that's just added energy being lost. Sky Archer. It's a pyramid pose. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring it down. We're going to go one more time. Drop the hips as you sweep the arms up. Take that twist, rotating open. Maybe you can get a little further this time. Maybe the tricep can get on the other side of that knee. Preparing for the balance and lifting the left leg. And standing up, dancing Shiva. Twist the other way. Eagle pose, we close it up. Crunch it out. Last one. Unwind Sky Archer to Pyramid Pose. Standing splits to Standing Forward Fold. Sweep the arms up. Hands coming to Heart Center. Last side, sweep the arms up, sink the hips, prayer twist, floating that back leg, and then bringing it in front of you. Maybe it doesn't touch the ground. Ego pose, <coughs> Garudasana. Let's take those crunches last time. Stepping back, unwinding, let it feel yummy. And then folding it forward. Stretching it out in a standing split and a forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. How about three grounding breaths right here?
Balancing is so good when you, your mind is crazy, when you find like you are holding your breath, then the balancing postures force you to breathe or else you fall. So give this flow a few times through and see how you do.